a land of unforgiving wilderness where secrets lie frozen beneath layers of snow and ice. But in 2013, a discovery thawed out a mystery that could shatter the foundations of human history. Deep within the Shoria Mountains, explorers stumbled upon a site that defied logic. Gigantic stone blocks, some weighing more than 3,000 tons, assembled with an impossible precision. Walls that dwarfed the pyramids of Egypt, a construction so monumental it whispered of a civilization far older and far more advanced than we ever imagined. But how could such colossal structures be built in this remote and hostile land? Who were these master builders, and what cataclysmic event could have led to their disappearance? Leaving behind these enigmatic stones as a haunting monument to their existence, a silent echo of a civilization lost to time. Join us as we delve into the mystery of the Gornaya Shoria Megaliths, a journey into the heart of Siberia. In 2013, deep in the Shoria Mountains of southern Siberia, explorers stumbled upon a site that defied explanation. Massive stone blocks, some over 3,000 tons, arranged in formations that suggested human design. This was the beginning of the mystery of the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, a discovery that could challenge everything we know about ancient history. The expedition, led by Georgi Sidorov, ventured into a region that had remained hidden during the Soviet era. Rising 3,600 feet above sea level, the Gornaya Shoria site held enormous stone structures, stacked with surprising precision. Upon arrival, the team encountered granite blocks with flat surfaces and sharp angles, forming what appeared to be a colossal wall stretching over 700 feet. Each block measured around 65 feet in length and stood between 16 to 23 feet tall, dimensions that dwarfed Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt. But one question remained. How could such immense stones have been carved, moved and placed in this remote landscape? Sidorov's notes speculated that the site might date back 100,000 years, pushing the timeline of human construction into uncharted territory. This hypothesis remains speculative, but if accurate, it suggests an advanced civilization that vanished, leaving only these stones behind. The Gornaya Shoria megaliths resemble other ancient structures, like the Baalbek stones in Lebanon or the Saksai Waman walls in Peru, sites that have puzzled archaeologists for decades. Yet Gornaya Shoria stands apart due to the immense size of its stones and its remote location, suggesting a level of engineering far beyond what ancient humans are believed to have achieved. Adding to the mystery were circular holes and signs of melting on some stones, as if exposed to intense heat. Sidorov speculated about ancient rock fusion techniques, or even a thermonuclear event, ideas that remain controversial. What could cause such damage? Was it a natural disaster or some unknown ancient technology? Or, as some suggest, could it be the aftermath of a cataclysmic event that destroyed whatever once stood here? The mystery deepened when the researchers' compasses malfunctioned near the stones. Sidorov suggested a negative geomagnetic field, possibly a remnant of an ancient energy source. Similar geomagnetic disturbances have been seen at other ancient sites, prompting theories that ancient people understood how to harness natural forces in ways we have yet to rediscover. But the harsh Siberian climate cut the expedition short, forcing the researchers to leave before they could find definitive answers. Yet, the clues they gathered hint at a mystery that could rewrite our understanding of ancient civilizations. If these megaliths were built by humans, they suggest a forgotten chapter of history, one with skills and knowledge beyond what we have recorded. If humans built these structures, how did they survive in such a harsh environment? And why settle in the Shoria Mountains, where winters bring deadly cold? During the last ice age, around 20,000 years ago, much of the Northern Hemisphere was buried under ice. Yet Siberia's mammoth steppe, 
a cold grassland, offered refuge. Woolly mammoths and other large animals roamed, providing resources for survival. Evidence shows that humans adapted to this land. Stone tools, ivory weapons, and the remains of hunters have been found, suggesting that people thrived here earlier than previously thought, some dating back 30,000 years, nearly twice as old as the earliest known human sites in the Americas. Could the builders of Gornaya Shoria have found a haven in this challenging environment? Gornaya Shoria invites comparisons to other mysterious sites, like Baalbek's 1,000-ton stone blocks or the precisely fitted walls of Sacsayhuaman in the Andes. These places share a common question. How did ancient peoples move and shape such massive stones without modern technology? Unlike those sites, Gornaya Shoria is far from known trade routes or civilizations, adding to the puzzle. Could similar knowledge have spread across ancient cultures, even separated by vast distances? Such theories have led to speculation about a pre-flood civilization, a society that may have existed before a cataclysm reshaped the Earth. Stories of lost civilizations, from Plato's Atlantis to the Great Flood, align with this idea. Could the Shoria megaliths be remnants of a society that thrived long before recorded history, only to be wiped away by disaster? The massive stones and their precise arrangement suggest the work of ancient builders, perhaps echoing their knowledge through similar sites around the world. Despite these theories, official research has been limited. Russian authorities classify the site as a natural formation, suggesting geological processes shape the blocks. But without thorough archaeological investigation, this conclusion remains uncertain. Observers note the sharp angles and regular arrangement, making a natural explanation seem less likely. Could wind and water alone shape such structures, or do they reveal the mark of ancient craftsmanship? A link between Gornaya Shoria's stones and other megalithic sites, like the underwater ruins off Japan or the terraces of Puma Punku in Bolivia. The scale and precision of these sites hint that ancient builders might have shared architectural knowledge, despite being separated by oceans. Could an ancient network have connected these cultures, leaving behind a global puzzle? Beyond the academic debate, Gornaya Shoria inspires more speculative ideas. What if these stones were not just the remnants of an ancient civilization, but designed with a purpose we don't yet understand? Could they have functioned as an energy center, tapping into geomagnetic forces? Some theorists point to the circular holes and signs of melting as evidence of ancient technology, perhaps a form of energy manipulation or a defensive mechanism that led to the site's destruction. These theories remain controversial but echo ancient legends, stories of cities destroyed by fire from the sky, of civilizations lost in sudden cataclysms. Tales like the sinking of Atlantis or the fall of Sodom and Gomorrah resonate with the stones of Gornaya Shoria. Could these myths hold a hidden truth about the structures beneath the Siberian wilderness? For now, the Gornaya Shoria megaliths remain an enigma, caught between myth and reality, nature and human design. Until more research is done, the truth remains buried in Siberia's frozen landscape. But if these megaliths were crafted by human hands, they could reshape our understanding of ancient history, challenging our beliefs about early human capabilities. As the sun sets over the Shoria Mountains, the megaliths stand as a silent mystery, questioning everything we know about human ingenuity. Are they remnants of a lost civilization or the result of nature's forces? Until more evidence emerges, Gornaya Shoria continues to invite speculation and wonder. This has been a Cincinnati production. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, links are in the description.